So then to our location report. The film is an awfully big adventure and it reunited Hugh Grant and director Mike Newell after their amazing success with Four Weddings and a Funeral. The story, adapted by Beryl Bainbridge from her own novel, is about a struggling repertory theatre in Liverpool in the immediate post-war years. The show they're about to put on is Peter Pan. Right then, overture and beginners please. 404, take one A, camera marker. B, camera mark. Action! It's another of these ones where it's slightly um, under scheduled, to, to put it um, diplomatically. So, you know, it's, um, it's the same, exactly. I'm mean, used to it now. I've done it so many times, and especially with Mike Newell. So I know when he shouts, I don't know what we're going to do, um, that uh, I, I'm sort of used to that. And it, doesn't, it doesn't upset me um, as much as it used to. Are we ready? Come on, guys, are we or aren't we? We've only spent about three minutes outside of one another's company, which was, I mean, we've gone straight from one to the other, which was something that uh, I wasn't sure was the very best thing initially, and I'm now tremendously glad that we did it. In a way, it's a bit depressing because, uh, you know, uh, Mike Newell cast me in Four Weddings and a Funeral because he thought I was nice and open and fun-loving, and, uh, and by the end of that six weeks, he realised that, in fact, I, my real uh, vocation was to play unpleasant, bitter, twisted, <laughs> cruel um, bastards like I'm playing in this. The thing is, it's a very heavy season. And you're all going to have to work very, very hard. But you're all the very best people we could find, the length and breadth of the profession. Oh! For the money. Action! It's a strange film for us all to be doing, in a way. It's a bit like being a vulture on your own flesh, because we're, we're act, actors playing actors using a stage for a film set and using our own lives as the raw material. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some disky spirit compels me now to make my dying speech. Lest when dying, there may be. No time for it. <clears throat> Georgina is remarkable. Um, she claims to be 17, but I think I'm going to start putting it out that she's actually 43. She's getting on horribly well. I, I hate it when newcomers are really good like that. I, I always hope they're going to be bad and I'll be able to patronise them and, you know, all that kind of thing and do all the things to her that used to be done to me. But, um, no, she's horribly good and professional. Some days I look at her and think, you aren't 17 years old and you didn't hear about it from your best friend in a chip shop in Scotland Road or wherever it was in Liverpool. You are... 30 years old, you've had an equity card for 12 years and a five-year contract in Brookside. It's just you kept quiet about it. Is Mr Potter's friend uh, uh, obsessed with him? Bunny? Uh, Hello. Yeah. And you know, Treasure, I don't know. Is she pretty? Is she elegant? She'd have to be special. Any lady friend of Meredith would... There have to be something special. And we'll sit with the makeup man and listen to the other actors for hours because they're all very experienced and they've all worked in the theatre, worked all over the world, everything. So it's sort of very much what's in the film, it seems, is what actually happens. My f first job as an actor was at Nottingham Playhouse in about 1983 and uh, uh, I had to do it to get an equity card. That was the rule and I think you don't think you have to go through that now. But then you did, and uh, I spent six months playing things like a tree um, and a fourth shouting peasant, a fourth angry peasant. Uh, in fact, I was, I was very good, particularly as the, as the tree waving in the wind. I was playing the Inquisitor, and because I was an ASM at the time, I had to make my exit after this long, long scene, long, long speech, and haul up my own cross that was behind me. 
if that was my job, and then put the kettle on for the tea. Um, and I think everybody's memories of rep are uh, that kind of mixture. Pleasure and pain. <laughs> Do you want the nursery set, stage left or stage right? Stage left. Please. Are you sure? Because it's got even numbers. A cup of tea, dear. And it's a hoop. The actors are enjoying it. It usually comes through. And almost, well, certainly to, to a man and a woman, everyone's enjoying it enormously. It's funny. I mean, it's, it's fun to play. An awfully big adventure opens on April the 7th.